As a SolidWorks 3D Experience connected user, one thing that I find very appealing about the 3D Experience Works portfolio is the large number of very powerful and sophisticated simulation products. There are simulation products related to structural simulation, computational fluid dynamics, plastic injection molding, motion, and many others. I particularly focus on structural simulation products. In today's presentation, I will look at Structural Designer, which includes the linear structural validation simulation app as well as material definition. When considering these 3D Experience Works simulation applications, one comment we have heard from SOLIDWORKS users is that they have a large library of custom materials that they have developed over the years. It would be challenging to have to recreate those custom materials on the 3D Experience platform. Luckily, SOLIDWORKS users don't have to recreate those materials. Today, we're gonna to talk about how you can take custom SOLIDWORKS materials and convert them to 3D Experience core materials using the Material Definition app so that you can take advantage of your custom materials when running simulations on the 3D Experience platform. Before jumping into the software, let's go over some terminology. I'd like to talk about core materials versus covering materials on the 3D Experience platform and also explain what domains are. A core material defines the physical properties of a part or body. It is analogous to SOLIDWORKS materials in SOLIDWORKS desktop. A core material on the 3D Experience platform is represented with a solid icon. Here you can see an example of 1060 aluminum alloy and it's represented represented, I'm sorry, with a solid icon. A covering material defines what the part looks like, and this is analogous to SOLIDWORKS appearances. You can recognize a covering material compared to a core material because the icon for a covering material is hollow. And so here we have blue anodized aluminum. Next, let's talk about domains. And to do that, let's jump right into the material definition app. This is the Simulia material definition app. I access this app by going to the compass, finding for me the structural designer role or whatever simulation role you're running. And you can see the material definition app within that role. I also have pinned that app to my list of favorite apps. So I have created a core material and a covering material, and I've also loaded this 1060-H12 aluminum material. So if we look, the core material has three domains. One is an appearance domain, the other is a drafting domain, third is a simulation domain. If we look at the appearance domain, that defines what the material looks like. And we come here, hit definition, and we have the ability to change the color of the material, set whether or not it appears metallic, I can increase the roughness, and we have many other properties that we can change to determine what the material will look like. Drafting is simply the cross-sectional properties of the material for drafting while the simulation domain defines the physical properties of the material. And we have a subsection of the structures area dedicated to SOLIDWORKS simulation properties, things such as density, the isotropic or orthotropic um, properties of the material, elastic modulus Poisson's ratio. So clearly I haven't defined any of these properties. They all appear as zero. A covering material again defines what the material, I'm sorry, defines the covering of the material. I think a good analogy can be found here in the 3DS help documentation. I'm looking at an article called About Core and Covering Materials, and if you scroll down, you see here a bronze part that is covered in red paint. So the core material is bronze, and the covering material is red paint. Now that we've learned about 3D Experience core materials, let's look at how we can bring our custom materials from SOLIDWORKS into the 3D Experience platform to become custom core materials with the simulation domain. So here I'm using SOLIDWORKS 3D Experience Connected. I have a model loaded. And as we're all familiar, we can go and view our materials databases by clicking Edit Material. And we see here that we have a custom material database containing our company's custom materials. You can see the path to that material database here by hovering over the title of the material database. And for those of you that may not be familiar, the SOLIDWORKS materials database is stored in an XML file with the extension SLDMAT. So here we can see where that custom material database is stored on my computer. So now let's import our custom SOLIDWORKS materials to the 3D Experience platform. To do this, we go back to the Material Definition app. The first step is to make sure that the Material Definition app is pointing at the correct collaborative space. A collaborative space is essentially a location on your tenant where database objects such as core materials will be stored. So here we're pointing at the material test collaborative space. The next step 
Now that we're pointing at the correct collaborative space, the next step is to come to the plus sign up here and select Import. The Import dialog appears. We want to make sure that the format is set to SOLIDWORKS materials. There you can see it's looking for an SLDMAT file. The source will be a file on disk and we'll set the correct location. Just make sure, yeah, it's pointing at custom materials. And I'm going to come here and select custom material.sldmat. Then I press OK and the process of importing materials is initiated. Very quickly, we're given a report that tells us that three materials have been imported. And we can see our three materials here. These are all core materials. And if we take a look at the simulation domain, let me point out a few interesting things. One, all of the properties in the material were imported into the simulation partition of the material domain. So here we see the properties related to density. These are the isotropic properties related to elasticity, strength. You see the property itself and then helpful information related to that property. And we can see the stress strain curve was also imported. And this will be the same for the other two core materials that I imported. What also happened Happened, is that those properties were converted into properties appropriate for Abacus or the Simulia simulation applications that are on the 3D Experience platform. Here we can see the elastic properties. Here's the stress strain curve. There's the yield stress, density, and other strength properties. So this material now has properties that are useful in SOLIDWORKS simulation and also useful for the simulation products in the 3D Experience Works portfolio. If we switch back to the 3D Experience platform, we can go to 3D Space, which is the tool where you can view and edit and navigate your collaborative spaces. We come here and we can see those three materials have been added to the collaborative space. Next, let's open this part in linear structural validation, and we will show how we can use the materials that we just uploaded to run linear structural validation. Here's the part opened in Simulia Linear Structural Validation. I'm going to first go ahead and define the boundary conditions. Let me rotate so I can see the bottom. I'm going to add a clamp there. And then I'm going to add a force to this face. And I will say it is a 10 Newton force. OK. And then I need to come in and find those materials. So I'll launch the material palette. And here we see those three materials that I imported from SOLIDWORKS. I'll go ahead and pick this one. And we've applied our material. And so we see all the steps have been followed and we're ready to simulate. Press simulate. And we see the simulation is complete. Here we're looking at a von Mises plot. We can look at a plot for displacement. And so we can see here how I imported custom materials defined in SOLIDWORKS to become core materials with a simulation domain in the 3D Experience platform, allowing me to use those materials in 3D Experience Works portfolio simulation products. Thank you for watching my video about importing custom SOLIDWORKS materials to core materials on the 3D Experience platform.